We play and call it work. Hey folks, Janine from Mini Wargaming here with another how-to video for you. In this video, we are going to paint the boots on this Inquisitor Eisenhorn Mini. We're going to do a nice, rich, dark brown leather boot. As always, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to see in a future how-to video, please leave them down below in the comments. These boots are sculpted to have some really nice leather folds. So we're going to start with some really dark browns and then highlight up to accentuate all of those folds. Our first color is gonna be Rhinox Hide. We wanna thin down our paint. I'm using a little bit of Lamian Medium, but you can use water or any medium that you like. This is a really rich dark brown and we want this to be our darkest shadow anywhere on these leather boots. So this color is going all over everything. We want to make sure that we apply it in thin layers, but we do want to do multiple layers to really build up and get an opaque coat over all of the boot. And we want to get into all of the nooks and crannies into all of the folds. The top of the boot has an area where the leather is folded over, so we want to make sure that we get the underside of those folds as well. And even though this is a really dark paint, we do want to make sure that we apply it in thin controlled layers so that it doesn't go on too sloppy. After that Rhinox Hide base coat, our first highlight is going to be with the color Mornfang Brown. This paint is also thinned down. I'm doing that with all of my paints for this video. And I'm going to start by applying this as an edge highlight. That's going to help me block out the areas that I want to be the lightest so that I'm starting to build my brighter colors towards those edges. It's also going to help me pick out any details, make them easier to see and to paint. And then after I've lined everything, I'm going to blend that color a little bit further into the boot, making it blend into the Rhinox hide a little bit. We don't want to blend it too far into the leather. We want to make sure that we leave a lot of that Rhinox hide present, but we're going to cover maybe about 50% of that area, mostly keeping our color on the edges, but we want to make sure that more of this Mornfang color is present than any of our other lighter colors. Our next color is Gothor Brown. This is going to be a line highlight on top of our Mornfang Brown, and we're using this color for a couple reasons. First, because it is lighter than our Mornfang Brown, so it's going to highlight those edge details, but also because this is a slightly less saturated brown color, it's a little bit more gray, and so it's going to make it seem like the, edge, the edges and these folds are getting worn down just a little bit. Nothing dramatic, not like these boots have been super scuffed up, but having this color on the edge is gonna make it seem like they've seen some, a little bit of wear. This is pretty much a full edge highlight. However, I don't want to have the line be too thick anywhere. I'm just really outlining the details to make sure that they stand out. My next highlight is going to be with Bane Blade Brown. This is another brown that's a little bit more of a gray brown instead of a really rich brown. And I am not doing a full edge highlight with this color. I'm just picking out a few areas that would be in the most light. Areas like the top of the boot and some of the larger folds on the side. My next color is going to be Lead Belcher. And there are two little skull details at the very front of the boot. I wanna make sure that I pick those out as well as the buckles on the side. I want to highlight that lead belcher with a little bit of runefang steel. I'm going straight to runefang steel just because these metallic elements are so teeny. I'm just going to add a glimmer at the very top and I don't necessarily want to worry about covering too much of it. And then I'm taking a little bit of Nuln oil and I'm just going to add a small shade on top of the silver elements to really make sure that they've got a nice shadow and that the edges are nice and deep so that they stand out from all of the areas that surround them. I quickly painted the soles with flat Abaddon black and with that, the boots on this Inquisitor Eisenhorn Mini are complete. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to videos, I have another one where I'm going to paint Inquisitor Eisenhorn's hair in the mini Wargaming vault in the link down below in the description. If you don't already have a vault membership, 
you can go ahead and click the link, sign up for a seven day free trial and get access to my video as well as hundreds of other videos in the mini wargaming vault. So go ahead, click the link, start your free trial and happy wargaming.